is up guys? Welcome to Rob M Studios. I'm your host Rob M and this is the how-to video for the game Rivers, Roads, and Rails. You're going to start by unboxing the game. There are 140 different tiles, each with either a river, road, or rail on it, or any combination of the three. You might have cards with just the river and rail. You might have cards with river, road, and rail. You might just have a rail card, a road card, a river card. You have ones with all three that turn the board. Many different examples. So to start the game, you're gonna play between one to eight players. So you can play this by yourself to challenge yourself to see how big of a place you can build. Otherwise, you wanna play with at least two people. And each player is gonna take 10 tiles at random from the box. You're gonna place down the starter piece. And then you're gonna take turns playing a card. So player one is gonna place down a rail. And then each player is gonna take turns placing down another piece. If you can't place a piece down, then you're gonna to have to draw a card out of the box. You do not draw until that you can play. You just draw one card because the object of the game is to be the first player to have no cards left in their hand. So play is gonna continue back and forth till somebody cannot play. And that might look upside down, but that does work as a play. Now, like I said, if you cannot draw, then you're gonna want to, or cannot play, you're gonna wanna draw. But here's this neat little piece that ends the rail, continues the river, so the play continues. And this can get very big and take up a lot of space, so you might wanna play it on the floor, or on a very large table, uh, many different ways that you could play. So guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. This is just a quick how-to video on the game Rivers, Roads, and Rails. And like I said, it has 140 game pieces. You can play between one to eight players. It is recommended for ages five and up, um, just with the different spatial recognition for the, the game pieces. And then you're going to want to draw 10 cards to start the game. And the way you win is to be the first person to have no more cards. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be updated on all my videos. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.